Hi everyone! Before I get started, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an introduction to where Quest came from. Quest came into Day's End from Washington County in August of 2015 with two other horses, and he was part of one of the most extreme cases of hoof neglect that Day's End has ever seen. He had what they call slipper feet, so when his feet grew, they grew upwards and curled around and they were actually over three foot long in length. Along with that, he was also extremely emaciated and was in great need of dental care. After seven months of rehabilitation and care with Days End Farm, this is what Quest looks like now and he is ready to start his training. I'm super excited to have Quest as my trainer's challenge horse this year and I can't wait to see how he progresses in the next 60 days. So come along on this journey with us. I've never done anything like this with making videos, but I'm excited to show you guys what we're doing in this process, and I also hope that it will benefit me so I can see what I'm doing. So this is technically our second session of the day. I had worked in that morning, and this morning we were having some trouble with going through the gate he has a lot of confidence issues, so we were just working on him going through without me helping him. And he was being much better about it this evening. I was just trying to get him to go through at a walk instead of a trot. So then I went back to desensitizing to the flag this is really important for him because he is a very spooky horse, but he is very smart about it. So you can see he's kind of pushing through the pressure a little bit there and getting a little bit too in my space for what I wanted. Whether he was nervous about the flag or something else, his attention was just not on me. I'm trying to just act like nothing is a big deal with him. So this was probably a few minutes later than the previous video. You can see that he's much more relaxed about the flag and he's just respecting my space a lot nicer. Now I'm gonna start sacking him out to the flag a little more. So I'm just rubbing his body all over it. It's a very windy day as you can see. So it's a great day for this desensitizing. He was being very good about it. There he just moved a little bit, but that's okay. I'm just gonna hold the flag there until he stands and then release the pressure. And go right back to it. He's being very good. So here he had a bit of a freak out because he didn't like the flag up in the air over his head. So I just held it there until he calmed down. And as soon as he stopped, I lowered the flag right there and put it behind my back and praised him for standing nicely and then went back to it and made sure he was okay with it blowing in the wind. He was good so I praised him. Lots of praise and then I went back to rubbing him because that wasn't a big deal at all. So now we're on the other side. Everything in training that you do on one side you always go on the other. Here he's even letting me touch his face with the flag, which was really good. A little bit of a freak out there, but that's okay. Just stayed with him until he stops and I released. Again, all about the release and pressure.
again, my end goal here is just to have him standing still with me waving the flag all around him. So here I started working on moving the four quarters. So I was applying a little bit of pressure with my hand right behind the gullet and just asking him to move off of that pressure. So he would get stuck a lot. This was pretty foreign to him. So you can see that when he did get stuck, I would just tap his leg a little bit with my foot to ask him that that is the body part that I need him to move. And then again, just releasing the pressure as soon as he gave it to me. This side he was getting a lot better with, so I started being more picky and trying to get him to cross the right front to the left front. And to finish off our session, I just started working on the head down cue a little bit with the halter on. So you can see as soon as he puts his head down, I completely let go of the lead rope with my hand. Overall, I'm very pleased with how today went for our first session. He's a very smart and extroverted type of pony, which is very fun to work with. So I'm looking forward to the next 60 days.